to Latin America. Venezuela is mourning the death of young lawmaker Robert Serra. He and his partner Maria Herrera were found dead at their home Wednesday night. According to reports, Serra's body showed signs of torture before he was murdered. The Venezuelan government ordered three days of national mourning. For the latest, here's our correspondent Rachel Boothroyd. A side which Venezuelan officials have described as cowardly, but also as rigorously planned and executed. An act which brought an abrupt and premature end to the lives of Venezuelan lawmaker Robert Serra from the United Socialist Party of Venezuela and his partner Maria Herrera, who were both found murdered in their home late on Wednesday night. What they have done to this comrade was totally immoral. It's indescribable and doesn't have a historical comparison anywhere. Emerging from the student activist ranks of the Bolivarian Revolution in 2007, Serra became the youngest politician to be elected to the National Assembly in the country's history. His fiery and combative attitude endeared him to masses of Venezuelans who spilled out onto the streets to say their goodbyes. You won't believe me, but when I turned on the television and I saw that news that they had killed Robert, I jumped out of my bed. Tears were tempered with fists held high in defiance and demands for justice for the two comrades. Many stated that those who had carried out the murder had robbed the Venezuelan people of a potential future president. Maduro, total justice and an iron fist for those who killed Robert. The bodies of the two revolutionaries were brought through the crowded streets of Caracas to the country's National Assembly, where they are currently lying in state. Both are expected to be buried over the next few days. Venezuelan authorities have stated that they will not rest until the killers are brought to justice. Rachel Boothroyd for Telesur in Caracas, Venezuela.